MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, the finale of this four-game set between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets. So digging in now, Ozzy Albies, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The 1-1. One -one. Drives it out to deep right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He's around first, heading for two. And that'll manage to hop over the wall. He'll be at second to start the game on a ground rule double. Into the box, Nick Markakis. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Batting third. The first baseman, number five. Standing in now, Freddie, Freddie Freeman. Freeman. Hit sharply but foul down the right side. Albies on second. Markakis on at first with nobody out. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Working for the punch out and the offering. A double play ball to second. Four, six, three, and they turn the double play. So a man at third here with two gone, and that brings forward Ronald Acuna Jr. The 1-1. One, one. Two outs here with a runner at third. Rounded down the third baseline. Davis grabs it cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. Striding in, Ahmed Rosario. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the three and two pitch. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. The third baseman. J.D. Davis the next to bat. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. And oh he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. The relay. But he is in there. Third, the second baseman, number six. In now, Jeff McNeil. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Well, he's in a bit of hot water in this first inning, but if he can start throwing his slider effectively. And look like the sinker here, but a good job of knocking this thing down. He's set. Here's the three and two. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Only play is going to be at first, so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. Stepping up now, Pete Alonso. And the Mets with an opportunity for more damage here in the first. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Next for the Mets, Michael Conforto. Hitting 500 in the series so far. Four for eight. The 1-1. One, one. Line towards center field. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. At the plate, Wilson Ramos. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. He's got five base hits in 18 at-bats. Chopped at third. Davis brings it in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. 
standing in, Travis Darno. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. 3 2 pitch. The short hit hard. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw on to first, two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in the Georgia native, Charlie Culberson. Now the one and one pitch. The bouncer to the left side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. The 1-1 one -one is taken for ball two. A runner on first with two away. That's strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Now in the box, Joannis Cespedes. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 1 home. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Bat splinters as this is on the ground to first base. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Here's Jake Marisnik. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. So one got in the inning here with a runner at first. And the pitcher steps in next. It'll be Steven Matz. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. Three and one to him now. And he lays off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. The batter, number one. So two men are on with one man out. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Ozuna is under it. Two gone. So two on with two away and into bed next to be J.D. Davis. Two men are on with two men out. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Mike Soroka, 9-1-2 and two due up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And the Braves have something going right away. It's a leadoff double. The batter number one. Second Stepping in now, Ozzy Albies takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Now batting. Right fielder. Near to the plate now. Nick Markakis. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Popped up. McNeil is there for it. He's got it one away. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. The 1-1 pitch. 
Looking at his lifetime numbers, Freeman has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Line towards center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. So a runner at first with two away. And that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. Throw over to the bag. And he'll dive back in. This ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. The 2-2. Two -two. Marcelo Zuna would be next. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. And that is off the wall. The tying run comes around all the way from first to score. It's now a 2 2 ball game. The left fielder, number 20. Marco. Into the box now. Marcelo Zuna turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Right side hit hard, reined in. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 3 1. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonzo. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 1-1. One, one. High and deep to straightaway right. Back goes Markakis to the track. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The right fielder, number 30. So now to the plate, Michael Conforto. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. High in the air out to center field. Acuna's there for it. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. So one man gone for the Mets in the third. And next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Three one pitch is a slider, and he can't pull the trigger. It's three and two now. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout, or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try and induce the ground ball to get a double play. The next three, two. On the ground is short. This could be two. Over to Albies. Relay to Freddy. Double play, and that'll end the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. Digging in for his second at bat, Travis Darno. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Ready with another 2-2. High in the air out to center field. Under it is Marisnik. One away. Into the box now. The Charlie Culberson comes into this at bat Charlie. 0 for 1 in the ball game. A 1 1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single.
Now batter. The shortstop. Dan D. And the plate now. Dansby Swanson. Too much dip on the sinker. Laid off for a ball. This one's down to third. And that is through into left field. A base hit. The pitcher, number 40. Mike Soroka. Standing in now, Mike Soroka. Got it back in time there, and it's 2-1. Two, two runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. And he pops up the bunt attempt. Davis is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzie Albies. Line drive to center field. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the runner is in from second. Long throw to the plate. Throw won't get him. Now that right fielder. At the plate, Nick Markakis. Pitch outside the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. In there, two and two. Two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. This one gets through, and that could bring in a run. He'll get it into second. On to second, but he's in safely as a run will score on the play as well. The first baseman, number five, Freddie. To the plate now, Freddie Freeman. The ball in two strikes. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Line drive to left. Cespedes will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Leading off the inning, Yoannis Cespedes. And they'll need him to get something going here. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now Digging in, Jake Mariznick. He drew a walk his first time up. Mariznick. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Acuna giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Robinson Cano will get to call the pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Fourth inning here already a 5-2 to two score. Back up the middle. Swanson picks it up. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. Paul Seawall, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. 2-2. Uh, Hit hard to the right side, but foul. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring up the big RBI bat of Marcelo Zuna. This is hit high and deep out to left. Cespedes is going back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. We're in the fifth inning here. 5-2 is our score. Drilled on the ground is short. Rosario's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ahmed Rosario. He flew out in his last at bat. On its way is pitch number 75. A bouncer up the middle. 
Albies brings it in. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. So one away here with the bases empty. And into bed next will be J.D. Davis. One out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. The Cunha is there. Two gone. In now, Jeff McNeil. It was a walk in his last trip. Bases are empty here with two men out. In tight with the slider, two and two. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Now to the plate, Charlie Culberson. One for two in the ball game thus far. A 1-1. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Two two pitches fouled away. Hit to short. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Three balls and a strike to the Atlanta shortstop. The 3 1. On the ground to the right side. And that is through into right field for a single. Up next for Atlanta, the pitcher, Mike. Into the box now, Soroka. Mike Soroka. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. The second for one. Throw on to first, won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So up steps Ozzie Albies, trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Swing and a liner right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now. So here's Pete Alonzo. He's one for two in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he misses 2 and 1. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. Acuna is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the, the first out. One away now for the Mets in the sixth. And up next, the left handed hitting Michael Conforto. To two balls and two strikes now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. A bouncer to the left side, and a base hit as that's in the left, and they've got themselves a base runner. So the call's gone out for the right hander, Mark Melanson, as he'll take over on the mound. Into the box, Wilson Ramos. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Hit in the air to shallow center. Acuna coming in. 
rebound. He has some trouble with it. The throw into second. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. To left fielder, number 52. At the plate now, Joanna Cespedes. A swing and a miss there, two and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the move is Marcakis. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Settling in now, Jake Marisnik. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. 1-1. One, one. It's taken below the zone for a ball. Hit to third. Right to him. Oh, but the feet of the second baseman is a wild one. And he'll come in to score from second base. And that is a direct result, obviously, of that poor, poor throw. Eduardo Nunez will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. And he fouls this one off. Melanson pauses. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Justin Wilson is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 38. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. Two hits in three at bats for him in this one. liner toward right center and there's a base hit so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh now the first base. in now Freddie Freeman two balls and a strike to Freeman Wilson is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Acuna digs in now. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. The one-two. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. A.J. Minter gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. A.J. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Popped him up. Freeman is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Digging in once again, J.D. Davis. He's working on a one for three thus far. Try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Now batter. Stepping six. in and ready for another shot, Jeff McNeil. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1-1. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. Now first base hit. So now to the plate, Pete Alonzo takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Line drive to center field, and that'll get down for a base hit. The right fielder, number 30, Michael. 
To the plate now, Michael Conforto. Conforto behind the ball and two strikes. With runners on base, two outs, and two strikes, this is a big next pitch for both sides. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Three and two now. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. He loses him on ball four. Darren O'Day answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Wilson Ramos will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Now this is on the ground to second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. Your Brad Brock has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 29. Now with the plate, Marcelo Zuna. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Now batting. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Ready to deliver the one and two. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Charlie Now the one and one pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is there. Two down. At the plate, Dansby Swanson. He's two for three thus far. Dansby Hard ground ball to third. Davis has got it. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. And he's safe. Ender Inciarte will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Ender Inciarte. To two balls and two strikes now. Two down, runners at first and second. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Will Smith is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 51. Will. So here's Joanna Cespedes. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy, and Joanna Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. And in a two run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that time run in the on deck circle as long as you can.
And another foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Into the box now, Jake Marisnik. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Got to find a way to get back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap him, or even worse, hit a two run home. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. None out, runners at first and second. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Rosario. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. He pulls into second safely as they also push across his score to make it a one-run game. Shane Green is going to have his work cut out for him here. Two runners in scoring position, so he'll try to leave them right where they are. Standing in now, J.D. Davis. Uh, that fastball's too much for him there, one and two. And this is swung on and missed, so they come right after him, and it remains second and third, but with two away now. Big spot. Two out, possible tying, and go-ahead runs on base. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Albies onto the grass. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. Edwin Diaz enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Edwin. Ozzie Albies will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. 1-1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Up and in. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Ball three. Three and two now. On deck is Nick Markakis. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Marisnik. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So coming to the plate, Nick Markakis. It was a single for him in his last at bat. The 1-1. One -one. Misses ball two. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Markakis ahead with a three and one count here. Freddie Freeman there. He'll hit next. There's ball four. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He was a double play victim last time around. One out, one on in a one run game. Grounded to the right. And Freeman's aboard. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Dylan Batensis enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Yeah. 
Stepping in now, Ronald Acuna fouled off. The one two fouled away. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. It was a walk in his last trip. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just the one run will be allowed to score. Now batting. Captain Travis Darno. Into the box, Travis Darno. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Three and one to him now. The three and one pitch. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. The third baseman, number eight. And now a crucial Charlie. spot. Base is loaded. Two men gone. And that'll bring in the Georgia native, Charlie Culberson. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 oh and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches, too. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Ready with the payoff pitch. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. After it is Marisnik. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Chris Martin enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Now pitching and batting in the sixth spot. Okay, next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Batting nine. Number 25, Tyler Wow. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Looks at a fastball low here, and it's full. Three and two. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. The right fielder, number 30. Next up for New York, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. He's two for three and looking for more here. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Three one count, tie run on the on deck circle. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on three and one. Now the three and two pitch. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. It's his last at-bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. At the plate, Joannis Cespedes. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Outside and a full count, three and two. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way. And now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him. So I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. The three two one more time and that misses ball four and he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble stepping in Jake Marisnik as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield on that fastball is too much for him there one and two counts even a two and two to Marisnik hey they tried to tie him up on that last pitch so I like that they went away with this one the execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Oh, 
line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Hit down the third baseline. And this gets down. Extra bases. Has he cleared him to win the ball game? Now he's safe at third. As they also push across a score to make it a one-run game. Jed Lowry will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number four. Two and two. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent it. That ball's down, and in comes the winning run. And the Mets are going to walk home a winner. Man, that has to hurt. But in the other clubhouse, it's got to feel awfully good. They battled on every pitch, every at bat. They found a way to scratch three runs across to win it. Impressive, to say the least. Every game has its offensive stars, and in this one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our top player of the game. He was one of the few guys that really swung the bat well in this game with a pair of base hits. He helped propel his team to a hard-fought win. A tight one, 7-6, to six, the final score tonight. New York used a three-run ninth to help propel them to the win. Dylan Batensis gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Seven runs on ten hits. Three errors. They left 12 men on base. For Atlanta, six runs on 13 hits. One error. They left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 35 minutes.